All righty, y'all. This is going to be a very sensitive topic, and I think a lot of people are going to get offended by this. Um, I've I've tried in the past to use TypeScript, and for whatever reason, I just don't like it. And I want to kind of explain to you why I don't like it, but honestly, this always just boils down to a personal preference. So if you like TypeScript, I'm not saying it's bad. I think there's a ton of benefits to using it, but for me, I just like dynamic languages. I feel like I can be more productive. I feel like I'm better at rapidly prototyping things, not being held back by this, you know, static uh, type checker. But I just want to give you my opinion on it. And uh, yeah, hopefully you can prove me wrong and say, Cody, you need to learn TypeScript. So one thing I'm, I'm noticing, one thing I think I'm starting to notice, um, I mean, it's been going on for years now, but a lot of libraries and projects are now being fully written in TypeScript and fully support TypeScript. So I think the industry has already kind of made that that shift from JavaScript to TypeScript. And I think there's a lot of good benefits to TypeScript. Honestly, like I came from Java, my first job, I worked on Java full time. And like, it's great to have this, this beautiful IntelliSense kind of telling you exactly what you're doing wrong and highlight your code when you're doing something incorrectly. And it's great when you're writing code. Um, but one thing I have a problem with the static languages is that there's so much additional verbosity, verbosity, I don't know if I said that word right, but just to look at some code, you almost start getting like anxiety, or at least I do, and you get overwhelmed with like how much extra cruft there is decorated on all your functions, all your properties, all of your primitives. And honestly, if you really think about programming, a majority of our time programming is spent reading code, right? Let me repeat that. The majority of your time programming is spent reading code. And this is especially true if you join a legacy project where you have hundreds of thousands of modules and lines of code and you need to either fix a bug or implement a new feature. You're going to be spending a lot of time just reading through that code, trying to understand how it works, and you're not going to be spending much time writing code. And I think where TypeScript really shines is writing code because you can get that really helpful IntelliSense and it can tell you when you're doing something wrong. And it's also really beneficial for a beginner who, I'll be honest, dynamic languages are very hard for a beginner because they don't hold your hand. Um, that's kind of what I feel about static languages. It's like kind of bowling with bumpers on where like are swimming with a life jacket. It kind of like keeps you afloat, but sometimes you just want to swim down as deep as you can and like die for something, but you kind of prevented from all these toolings because they like make sure you're doing everything in a certain way. And you might say, okay, Cody, you're just a noob at TypeScript. Um, that, I mean, that's probably true. I, I won't argue against that, but I did use TypeScript for a while. I'm talking like three or four years when I was working with AngularJS, that was all in TypeScript. And then we switched over to just using Angular 2.0 and then 3.0 and everything was in TypeScript. Um, and it was, it was okay using, I mean, that was like back in TypeScript's infancy. So there's some things that I had problems with and I'm sure TypeScript has come a long way since then. But when I switched from TypeScript to JavaScript, um, I just feel like I'm much more productive. I can, ju I can just like write code it feels kind of freeing in a sense. And I know this is like all subjective opinion, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't really know. When people start talking about TypeScript and like how it's so great, I just always cringe in my head. I'm like, dude, I know I'm gonna have to learn this one day. Like I know sooner or later, I'm gonna either switch projects or switch companies where I'm gonna have to learn TypeScript and actually like embrace it and use it. And I'm just not eager to do that. If I had a choice to stick with web development and use TypeScript or switch over to like Python, I would probably pick Python or Clojure or some other dynamic language that doesn't have all of these additional static uh, checks in it. So let me kind of explain like what started this, this video topic. Um, I wanted to build a really basic state management library and I'm like, you know, let's just go and look at Zustan and see how they do it inside their code base. And if you look at their code base, I mean, it seems pretty small. It doesn't seem like it'd be too too complicated. But if you look at this vanilla TS file, and you start reading through it, you just don't know what's going on. There's like generics everywhere. You have all these additional checks and like all this additional stuff. Like, let me show you one line that I'm just like, Jesus, what is this? I think it was like probably this one or something. Like what these ternary operators going on here, like... I, I just don't look at this code and say, oh, this is beautiful. I look at this and say, this looks like garbage. There's just so much stuff going on here. And you can't really easily pinpoint the, the logic that is used to implement this library. It's kind of like being overwhelmed by the types that verify that a certain thing is being passed in correctly. 
And I don't think that's the approach I would like to take when I'm writing code. Like I know I can go to this implementation here. This is the actual code that's doing a majority of the stuff. But this is like what, 30 lines of code, 40 lines of code. And then all this additional typing was set up just so that like you can do the, I like call the function and it's like, mm, I don't know. I think we're, we're reaching a, a, a line. We're crossing a line where we're doing too much additional type checking. Um, and it's really hindering your ability to read code. Like, and I know why they're doing this. It's probably so that when you use this library in your project, you get like the best IntelliSense setup that you can. So there's probably a lot of benefits to what they're doing. But for the most part, the, mo the most important things about TypeScript is that you can define interfaces, like strict interfaces between different functions. Okay, and that's like the, the number one benefit. I really enjoyed that with JavaScript, or sorry, Java and C-sharp where like, you know exactly what you need to pass to that thing. But then the overhead that's involved with like setting up all those additional types and interfaces, it's just not fun. It just sounds like I'm just doing enterprise Java development, which again, this is, I, I kind of left that field because there's just like too much additional verbosity and I just didn't like it. I didn't feel like I was actually creating. I felt like I was more like, I don't know, fighting type systems. And there's other people with this um, analogy. Like I recently tried to build like a Minecraft hosting application and one of my viewers is like, hey, you should use TypeScript. And I'm like, okay, let's just do it. And I started using TypeScript and I, I just run into issues where I'm like spending hours just debugging typed errors and writing tests becomes super difficult because now you can't just pass a simple object to your test. You have to like make sure you have the full implementation of whatever you're passing to your functions you're trying to test. You gotta make sure that you're following the correct interfaces. Sometimes I'm like, dude, I just wanna pass in an object that has the property name into this function and verify it formats the name correctly. But TypeScript requires you to have like 50 other properties set up just so you can call that function because the function says, I need a user object, right? And the user object needs 40, 50 other properties so that I can actually do it correctly. But it's like, I just need to test something simple. I just want to test that the, the first name is actually set up correctly when I call this function, but I don't know. At this point, I'm kind of just venting and I'm mainly venting because I wanted to read through this code and it's just like, I don't want to spend an extra five hours like breaking down how all this stuff works, going back and refreshing my memory about how like generic typing works and all this other stuff. I'm not saying I'm a noob with static typing. Again, like I use JavaScript. We learn a lot about like object oriented programming interfaces, inheritance, extending and uh, implementing stuff like that. So it's like, I'm not new to this stuff. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> as simple as that is, I just don't want to do it. And I think when you've been coding long enough, like I've been coding almost 10 years now, you reach the point where it's like, you don't need good reasons to argue for or against tech, right? I can just start using this tech. And it's kind of like, you know, why some people enjoy eating chocolate chip cookies and other people like plain sugar cookies and other people like Reese's puff cookies. Like we all just have our personal preferences and it's just the way it is and sometimes you don't need to sit there and argue your personal preference right that's just the way it is i just really like dynamic languages i just feel like i'm more productive with them i know a bunch of people are coming with comments and be like yo you should really just try typescript like it's really great it really helps you and i'm like i've tried it it's just it just seems like it's just putting guardrails and everything um especially when i come from a community i come from a company that we do tons of test coverage. We do tons of unit testing. We do tons of integration testing. We do a lot of end to end testing, right? So I'm already pretty certain that the code I'm about to push to production is good. And I don't need a type system to say, Hey, this field first name is actually a string when it's like, dude, I know it's going to be a string because it's called first name. Like what else would it be? It's not going to be a number. It shouldn't be an object. And if I ever define a user that needs a first name that's an object, then I'm just writing bad code to begin with. So it's like, I don't need these extra type, script, type systems to like help enforce that I'm setting up these things correctly, especially if you name stuff well. If you name stuff well, you don't really need to know like what the types of them are. Like imagine you have a function that says like get a uh, birthday or something and it takes in a person object or it takes in like a UTC timestamp, right? If the argument says UTC birthday then i just need to pass it a string that's a utc format like i don't i don't need to have an actual like explicit type that says that requires a string it's pretty obvious from reading the code exactly what this thing needs yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap this talk up because i think um 
I think I, I vented. I got it out. Feeling better now. Um, but yeah, I'm just worried that I'm going to have to like actually start embracing TypeScript if I were to switch projects or switch companies because everyone out there, everyone else out there is kind of using it, and it's just like I'm not ready for it. I'm an old, I'm an old dog, and I can't learn new tricks. Have a good day and happy coding.